Hi, my name is Ned Harris and I'm a solution engineer here at Kong. And today we're going to be talking about Kong Mesh. This is kind of the second of a two-part series. And in the first part, we were talking about the Kong ingress controller and how we can use it to kind of govern all the ingress that happens in what some people refer to as this north to south pattern. I tend to look at it more like the building um, and the doorway into the building. And that's kind of what the Kong ingress controller is managing. It's all that access and all those kind of concerns. But once you're in the building, you have all these different rooms to keep the analogy going. In this case, we're talking about all of our different services, all these like microservices and different things that have all this concern that really don't get addressed once you're past the gateway. So what we're going to be kind of talking about is this is where, you know, how we can leverage Kong Mesh to address a lot of this, um, you know, governance for all these different um, connectivity between these different microservices. Again, we're connecting to a GraphQL instance that's talking to a blog, to a database, to a natural language processor. There's a lot going on. Um, and when we start scaling this out, we can see there's actually a lot of different services at play, uh, a lot of different pods. And in reality, this like simple diagram really looks like something like this in the real world, where you have a lot of interconnectivity between these pods and a lot to orchestrate. And if you try to do this all with manifest, it'd get unruly really, really fast. And so that's what we're going to address with Kong Mesh. So the first thing we want to do um, is just kind of level set. We have this application. It's a basic, you know, you know, microblog application that does a little bit of sentiment analysis. And we can run this and we can kind of get all of our blogs and see these different sentiment scores between happy and sad. It looks like my cat is sad. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to basically take this and try to, you know, employ some mutual TLS or maybe some zero trust to kind of assure that all this traffic that's being communicated between all these different services is being um, communicated in a secure way. Well, what we do in Kong Mesh is we basically use policies to enforce these things. And so what you're going to see here is I have a basic um, policy. If I go to this Mesh object, and it was just like we were talking about before with the Kong ingress controller, how we get to describe these things in a very native Kubernetes way. Well, the same is true with, with Kong Mesh. We can describe a basic Mesh object. And if you're familiar with Kubernetes, this should be very at home for you. You know, we have a kind, we have metadata section, a spec section. And in that spec section, we're going to fill in a, an MTLS section that's going to define this mutual TLS policy that we're going to enforce. Now, uh, let's go ahead and um, enforce this, or apply it, if you will. And when we do this, something's going to happen. So we've applied it. We can come back here, and this service that we saw that was working before um, is suddenly not working. You know, we're getting a 503. Well, we've enforced zero trust policy. And what that means is that nothing's going to talk to anything unless we give it explicit permission. So we can fix that by putting in a nice traffic permission policy. Now I'm doing kind of a star star, let everything talk to everything because it's a demo and we don't have like all day. But you could see like this is a opportunity where you could be very fine grained and you know and explicit in what services can talk to what and really enforce your security you know policy that way. So let's go ahead and deploy this you know, basically traffic permission policy and see if we can get our services back online. So we've done that. And now when we go run this, we're back in business. And now we have this mutual TLS. And if we want to check on this, we actually do have a kind of graphical interface for Kuma. So you can see this is all of these data planes that we're looking at. If I go to the overview, you can see that we have a, you know, we're working off a of single mesh in this case in a single zone. And we have 11 data planes. And from here, um, we actually have a traffic policy. And this is what we just implemented. We can kind of go to this uh, higher view and you can see that we actually have our mutual TLS working with the CA1 cert. So that's great. We can kind of see that we've implemented a zero trust mutual TLS policy pretty easily. Now, another thing that may come up is this tracing. Like what if we want to track you know, the flow of this traffic and find out if there's something breaks or if there's latency, like where is this happening? Tracing's gonna allow us to do that. And we can implement that pretty easily with Kong Mesh. Now we have this kind of CLI tool that comes with Kong Mesh. It's Kuma, you know, it's a Kuma cuddle command tool. And this allows us to do a lot of 
shortcuts through the CLI. One of them is we can install a tracing service. If we do this Kum Kuma Cuddle uh, install tracing, it's going to install a Jaeger server that is where we can centralize all of our the collection of all of our traces. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go just copy this little command right here, and this is going to deploy that Jaeger server. So if I come over here, we can see if I go back to our namespaces, we actually have a new namespace, Kuma Tracing, that just popped up. So we can look at this, and as soon as this is up and running, I'm just going to port forward to it. And I'm going to actually port forward to the 16686 uh, port. So 16686, and we'll just do that one more time. 16686. <laughs> And what this is going to do is it's going to just port forward so that we can actually get to our Jaeger interface. And I can refresh this and we'll see that we have no services yet, but we're going to fix that in a second. And how are we going to fix that? Well, with a policy. So let's go ahead and add a tracing policy. So you can see that right under our um, MTLS policy, we can add a tracing policy. And you can see we're using a default backend with a Jaeger collector. And we're just going to name this Jaeger collector and has a type zip in. And then we're going to point it in the conf to our collector that we just deployed just a, a few seconds ago. So, and now that we've done that, we can tell this with a basically traffic trace policy what we want to trace. Again, this is an opportunity to be very explicit if you want. Since it's a demo, I'm just going to trace everything pretty much in the mesh. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is just implement this traffic trace policy in our default mesh. And now that I've done that, I want to point out that we actually did something earlier, kind of before this demo started, is I actually implemented this correlation ID in our Kong ingress controller for this basically service. And what that's going to do is when we come back here, and if I go and let's just add a blog, I'm going to add, I'm happy to know it, I'll say I'm sad and I know it. And so if we run this, whoops, if we run this, you're going to see that we, you know, got our little, you know, sentiment score back and all. That's all good. But if I go to the header, we'll see we have this X request ID that's been implemented. And this is going through each of our services. So every hop it makes, it forwards on this request ID. We've actually instrumented that into our services. So what that has done is if we come back to our, our trace and if I refresh this, you can see we actually have five services now. And if I go to say, I don't know, our Apollo service, for instance, and if I go to find trace, you can see that we get all these different um, spans that is tracking. And we can see things like latency and the hops. What we can also see is our system architecture. So you can see the kind of pattern that this is going from, you know, the gateway. This is our Kong ingress controller, which is a Kong gateway, to the Apollo service, to the blog service, and finally to the, um, sorry, the natural language processing service. Another you know, easy way to look at this is if we um, go back is we could go to system architecture and go to this DAG and you can see it more straightforward. So we're actually tracing each of these hops. So if anything is going wrong, if we get latency, we can see where that is. And that's really powerful. So we've actually covered quite a bit in this kind of short talk. So we've basically covered you know, how to um, how to basically get mutual TLS between there. We've gotten our request IDs and we've basically centralized them to Jaeger. There's actually a large number of these policies we could deploy and there's more coming out each, each and every you know, quarter. We're gonna be adding a lot more of these policies to come. So thank you so much for your time and have a great day.